That's a nice shot. Prezies! bored of me greeting you from one of four locations yet. <laughs> I hope not because the party's just getting started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? Hope you're all holding up all right. It's actually a bit of a special day in this household today because it's actually Adam's birthday. As you might have guessed from the little present opening montage a minute ago, I reckon it's probably the weirdest birthday he's ever gonna have. Stuck indoors. We might go for a little bit of a walk later. It is an absolutely beautiful day. So at least that's something. So far this morning, he's had some prezzies, which is always a good start, isn't it? He's had two renditions of happy birthday on work video business calls. And now he's set up upstairs to start the day working. He was gonna book today off, but decided to book off tomorrow instead so that we've got like a bit of a three day weekend. Not that it really matters much at the moment anyway, but I kind of understand the logic. Like it's nice to have a big chunk of time not working, isn't it? Rather than like a sporadic day. The next thing I'm gonna do list for today is to make a birthday cake. So we're gonna have a bit of a bake with me session. I'm gonna get my Mary Berry on. I'm gonna channel my inner Nigella. I'm gonna transform into Paul Hollywood before your very eyes. And we're gonna construct some kind of birthday cake. I've just about pulled together <laughs> enough ingredients to try and fashion some kind of birthday cake. Um, these are trying times, what can I say? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to wow. you. <laughs> that counts party. as a gift. That does it. Every time I interact with you today, it's going to be opened with a rendition of happy birthday. <laughs> what a little cutie. What a little cutie. Would you like to tell them? It's traumatic. I was on the sofa and I put my feet down to stand up and I was like, Ooh, what's, what's under my foot? <laughs> And she'd been sick on the rug. A big old pile and of sick. And a sick, without making our rug sound disgusting, was effectively the same colour as the rug. Yeah, it doesn't do our rug much justice really, does it? Just and like it the was, sick blended in. It was invisible to the human eye. So it just stepped right in it. It's her birthday gift from Flo to you. Rubbish. Take it back. <laughs> you kept the receipt. Uh, that was a real treat to start your day. So that was Flo's, Flo's contribution to my, mm. my big two seven. It's improved since then. Yeah, that's going well. Your t-shirt. I'll show them the back actually. This is what I bought Adam. This is one of his prezzies. Look how good this is. Reebok X Tom and Jerry. <laughs> what a collab. <laughs> what a crossover that is. And your slippers. They're too fancy for and me. And some very posh new slippers, which I literally trawled the internet for. Adam spotted these ages ago, didn't you? Literally yeah. so long ago. And they were sold out everywhere. But I found one pair in the right size. They're lovely, aren't they? Mm. Very posh, very cute, very snuggly, and I'm really jealous of them. <laughs> They don't fit you, so you can't steal them. The other Prezi that I bought for Adam, um, I've got him a little trio of Prezies, um, but the third one was the Dishoom book. It's such a beautiful book. I love the colour of it, and it's bound really beautifully. It's just lovely. I was so pleased with it when it arrived, and if you've never heard of it, Dishoom is an Indian restaurant, and it's just one of our favourite restaurants to go to. Absolutely love it. The breakfast especially. So it's just filled with all these beautiful photographs and recipes there's drinks in the back there there's desserts i just thought it was really lovely and adam's a really really keen cook so i think he'll get a lot of use out of this he loves making indian food curries in there it's just beautiful it's so nicely illustrated as well um and the bit i was most interested in there is a little section to try and recreate their breakfasts at home as well which is very exciting so yeah they're the prezies that i bought for him and then my mum also bought him this really nice backpack too he ruined his last backpack so Brand new one. Thought that was really nice. I'll link them down below if you're interested. Right, hair has gone up. Health and safety first, everybody. Hygiene levels, maximum. And there can only be one reason for that. It's time to get my bake on. So welcome to the baking show that approximately nobody asked for. So I was trying to think of any vague ways I could possibly make Adam's birthday quite nice today. We had such nice plans for it. And obviously in the grand scheme of things like it doesn't matter, safety first and all that, but you're still allowed to be like disappointed about things and you're still allowed to be sad that things got cancelled and stuff. It is a bit of a shame I'd booked a really nice breakfast for us, we were going to have a lovely day, um, but here we are. 
Instead, I'm about to make inevitably the world's worst birthday cake. I swear, this weekend, just coming up now, was probably gonna be my busiest social, most sociable weekend <laughs> I've had since I was about 17. It's just classic, I cannot believe it. I was supposed to be going to Bongo's Bingo on Friday. Saturday, I had two parties to go to socialite over here because it's also Kate Maxwell's birthday today. Happy birthday, Kate. I know you'll be sad if I don't wish you a happy birthday as well. She has the same birthday as Adam. This is Kate who went to Disneyland Paris with. So she was going to have a birthday thing on Saturday and then on Sunday we were going to be celebrating Adam's birthday with a couple of his mates as well who have a birthday and we were going to do the Bermondsey Beer Mile Trek Mission Challenge. I can't remember what it's called but basically all the pubs and the beer stops in Bermondsey. We we're gonna be doing all that. And now we're doing absolutely none of those things, but we are gonna make a delicious cake. Oh, I need my recipe book. That would be a good start, wouldn't it? Because it's not up here, let me tell you that. Hi, thanks for tuning in. Welcome to Bake With Lucy, which is always gonna go one or two ways. We're either gonna end up with something absolutely delicious or something completely inedible. And I think we can all place a bet on which way we're gonna go. So I'm gonna be using a recipe from this classic, Tanya Bakes. Excuse me, I'm baking you a very top secret <laughs> birthday cake here. Are you coming in? Totally. <laughs> oh, that's alright then, go on. It's supposed to be top secret. That's why I asked you to put your headphones on. I didn't put my headphones on. But I mean, I did have this exact conversation with you yesterday, <laughs> so <laughs> I think you probably had a slight suspicion. So yeah, today's recipe comes from Tanya Bakes. Who knows where I acquired this book from? And who knows what happened to Tanya Burr? answers on a postcard. Even though she cruelly turned her back on the world of YouTube, um, she does have a very nice baking book. I quite often turn to this if I fancy baking something. Cinnamon buns. Delightful. Not today though. Today we're going to be making, here it is, this one. Sunday cake. Would you look at that? That looks like an absolute triumph. So for this very professional excellent bake, I'm going to be needing some unsalted butter, check, some caster sugar which I think we have. First things first, Tanya. What am I doing? Preheat the oven to 180. I can do that. That might be the only thing I can do, but I can do that. Okay, next. Line the cake tins with greaseproof paper. Oh, do you know what? I've actually got a really interesting tale to tell you about this cake tin. <laughs> Doesn't sound like it would be a riveting story, but let me assure you, little do you know. I think I have to take this hair out. It is actually too ridiculous. <laughs> A few hairs in a cake never hurt anyone. Okay, so if I were to tell you that yesterday I spent most of my day scrubbing a cake tin, I think you'd think, that's it, she's lost it, quarantine, she's gone. But basically, yesterday morning, while I was thinking about Adam's birthday, I was thinking, I'm gonna have to make a cake, because otherwise there's gonna be absolutely no festivities going on around here whatsoever. There's gotta be a cake. If you don't have a cake, is it even your birthday? Then went to do an ingredients check and swiftly discovered that actually, we didn't have a cake tin, which <laughs> is a bit of a problem when it comes to baking a cake. I figured that our local big supermarket would probably have one, but that was about an hour's round trip walking, because we don't have a car, um, and I didn't think that it really counted as an essential, which really required me to leave the house. I did pop out to our local little supermarket yesterday afternoon because we didn't have anything for dinner, so that did require a supermarket trip. And on my way back, right, hear me out here, on top of a hedge, on my walk home, someone had put out a load of baking supplies, as in like, feel free to take these, but I'm gonna throw them away if nobody wants them. Now I'm not being funny, but is that the universe not telling me that I need to make Adam a birthday cake? <laughs> it really weirded me out. Like honestly, the odds of me not having a cake tin, but then also requiring a cake tin, not being able to access a cake tin, and then finding a cake tin quite slim odds. I realise that some of you will think that is absolutely disgusting, but I have literally scrubbed this thing. It was not in particularly good shape. I can see why they wanted to get rid of it. It was covered in rust and stuff. Been through the dishwasher twice and I've hand washed it. And then once I'd given it like loads and loads of disinfecting, I went over it with white vinegar and bicarbonate of soda and like a scourer to get literally basically the entire top layer off. And it's come out really nicely. So now we've got this really nice, cute vintage cake tin. I mean, it might bake coronavirus into our cake, but <laughs> at this point it's almost inevitable that everyone's gonna get it, so at least ours will come from a delicious chocolate cake. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna line that with greaseproof paper. Are you sure you wanna watch this? Ta-da! <laughs>
Tracy Beaker bowl. Tracy Beaker bowl. Butter and sugar. Creamed. Looks a bit like mashed potato right now. But hey, a mashed potato cake sounds like something I would enjoy. Entertain yourselves while I just, uh, <laughs> just fish the shell out. D, E, F, F, F. Is it flossing? And you will find me. You know when you get to this point of making a cake and you put your eggs in and you butter in and it literally looks like the most disgusting thing in the world and you think, what have I done? We're currently at that point. Okay, not gonna lie, this now looks incredibly delicious and I want to stick my entire face in this bowl. COVID-19, oh my hands are so clean. Right, just gonna pause these classic tunes to let you know. It's time to put this mix into my <laughs> lost and found cake tin. Looking forward to being poisoned. So here's the first point in this recipe that we might hit a small hurdle because actually Tanya Burr and her recipe calls for two cake tins. I didn't have that much luck. We're gonna go for one cake tin and we're gonna hope for the best. At this point in society, I think we're all just hoping for the best, aren't we? So I might as well carry that through <laughs> to my cake baking. At this point, I don't think it's much of a secret, is it really? COVID-19. Ooh. It will be more delicious than it looks <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh, okay. I hope. <laughs> nice. Otherwise, low standards. Could you help me scoop this out? Top Make my own birthday cake. I'm not cake. asking you to make your own birthday cake. <laughs> make my own cake. What do you really hold it? Just hold the bottle. So what we have here, within a cake tin that I found on a hedge, is what I imagine quite a quite a lot of cake mix. Because actually, that's the that's the cake mix for two cakes there. Do I drop the temperature down slightly on the oven and bake it for a bit longer? Am I going to end up with a cake that tastes like an old boot? <laughs> There she blows. Godspeed. Out the oven. I had a second opinion from Adam over whether it was done or not because I've basically had to make up these times and temperatures because I've adapted this recipe slightly because I'm horribly disorganized. But we reckon it's done, don't we? I mean, I've stabbed it with a knife about 18 times <laughs> and it's finally starting to come out with no cake mix. So I reckon it's done. It does smell really good. And it's looking not too shabby. My cake tin <laughs> did me proud. While that cools, before I attempt to try and cut it in half, I feel like that's where things might go a little wrong. As soon as I stopped baking, I was suddenly like, actually, I'm really hungry. Turns out a bowl full of cake mix isn't a sufficient breakfast. So I've made my ultimate favorite brunch, which is avocado with chili and halloumi. I was gonna say I'm gonna eat my breakfast, but it's actually 12 o'clock. So this is more of a, more of a brunch. Since we can't go out for brunch, we'll bring brunch home. And then I've got a little DIY job that I wanna get done this afternoon. I wanna put up a washing line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I told you things were gonna get real exciting around here. I'm too much of an anxious person for this. Oh, I don't know if it is cooked. Oh, it's a bit squishy in the middle. <laughs> right. Should I put it back in? No. What it's, if it's not cooked? It's cooked. Looks cooked. It is bloody cooked, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's absolutely cooked. <laughs> Watch out here. No! Just got to, there you go. Just got to keep it like, yeah. <laughs> You're doing well. And this is where it's just going to open up a load of cake mix in the middle now. No, but it's not, is it? Well, I think it might do. Well, it's because it's so dense. Because I only have one cake tin. If it does, then we'll make what, what they call cake pops. Ooh, that sounds delicious. What would Paul Hollywood say? He would send me out the tent, I think. <laughs> you see, your cake's underbaked. <laughs> see that there? It's because it's underbaked. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> Gone wrong. No, yeah. It's fine. I've let you down. Birthday's ruined. Well, I guess I'll just eat fruit instead. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna construct something while you're not looking. I think it's the pressure of you observing. Sorry. I'm not saying I've made the worst birthday cake of all time. That's it. But I might have made the worst birthday cake of all time. Oh! <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> I appreciate the lying. What lying? <laughs> yeah, you are. A big chocolate cake? <laughs> it looks like it's been made by <laughs> I'm like half laughing, half sulking because it's so bad. I think it's going to taste delicious though, right? 
I don't know. Here it is, my delicious <laughs> cake. Oh no, wait. <laughs> Expectation. <laughs> Reality. It's like in The Simpsons where he's like, Ah, oh, what a lovely barbecue. <laughs> Why the hell does mine look like that? That's one fine looking barbecue pit. Why doesn't mine look like that? I tried. I love it. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Happy birthday hey. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Adam. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. So in terms of house purchases, my latest little bundle definitely is not the most exciting one I've ever purchased, but it was a very necessary one and I'm excited to get it all set up today. So as I said earlier, I treated us to a washing line. Can I get a whoop whoop? I don't know whether it's because I'm officially quite old now or whether it's these trying times that we're in, but I'm actually very excited <laughs> about the small joy of having a proper washing line. We haven't had one since we moved in, so we've just been using a washing maiden set up in the office. So I'm excited to have nice, lovely, fresh drying outside clothes. And I'm also excited to free up a little bit of space in the spare room upstairs. If we can take that maiden down every so often, that'd be great. So this is my washing line haul. I went for this little cutie, which is the Vileda Cordomatic. Sounds like a spaceship. I'm excited. Retractable clothes line. Ooh and ah, my life is about to change. It has this thing that looks a little bit like a flexi lead for any of my dog lovers out there. And then the other side can attach to some hooks, which I think I'm gonna put on the side of the shed. So that's my little DIY job for the day. Also, along with my washing line haul, also bought us some pegs. Stupidly though, forgot to buy a peg basket. So, rookie error there. You can tell I've never had my own washing line before, can't you? For anyone who's interested, which is no one, uh, these are the Minky Bright Pegs. 36 pack. This thing, though, I actually think was a really good purchase. They were a necessary purchase. This was a little treat for myself. Bought myself a collapsible washing basket. <laughs> so it's completely flat like that for you to just store wherever you want. But then when you come to use it, push the bottom in and hey presto. Got yourself a proper washing basket in a lovely combo of grey and mint. Remember when I used to share like nice outfits and lovely makeup? Here we are. Let's set things right and go and get the power drill out and have a bit of a go at that instead. Call in the reinforcements. It wasn't as straightforward as I was anticipating. <laughs> Cold in the backup. Please don't drill through into the kitchen. <laughs> so, that's on, nice and sturdy. Then I can just pull this out and we can have it on the shed. One washing line, complete. Quite pleased with that. Drill away. Job done. So this is my current little evening time killer. The latest addition to my little crafty basket, which keeps me busy in the evenings at the moment. It's a grown up paint by numbers, which I was absolutely buzzing to find. It costs like eight quid and it came in a little box like this. I actually bought two of them because I really liked both designs. So this one's a lady in a leopard print skirt, which I'm really excited to do. And then this one's really cute as well. It says, life goals, keeping my pets and plants alive. And it's got a little cat down here. Started a masterpiece here. You get your little paints here and then two slightly crappy little paintbrushes, but they're good enough to do something like this. So I thought this was a really good find. This was from Typo. Um, so if you can get your hands on it, I really recommend them. They're such good creative little time, time wasters basically away from a screen. <laughs> for today i'm afraid my vlogging camera has died a death the battery's gone so we're finishing up on the phone today keeping it professional as always we went for a little wander we've had our government sanctioned walk for the day yeah which is very nice actually it's such a beautiful evening and um now we're going to order a pizza which is why i'm very looking very distracted because <laughs> I want to order my pizza. Birthday pizza. Can't resist a camera, can you? That's the thing. She knows. 
Made a nice guest appearance in Adam's video chats today, just for a change. <laughs> Loves a conference call. Still got pizza and about four of the Tiger King that Tiger we're never going to watch. That was the other thing I was going to say. I feel like every time now I have a TV program to recommend on these vlogs because yeah. it's all we're doing. But my latest recommendation <laughs> is Tiger King on Netflix, which is the single maddest documentary you will ever watch in your entire life. I'm not going to say anything else about it. It is the maddest thing I've ever seen. I'm excited to watch it again. I'm excited for more madness. So that's the big plan for tonight. Pizza and Tiger King. It doesn't get much better than that on your 27th birthday. I mean, going outside would be nice, but still. No, seeing no. other human beings. Really? Well, what's like the it. point? I like it, yeah. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching again from the same sofa as every other video recently. <laughs> Appreciate you sticking with me through this extremely boring, tedious time. And I will see you next time with another video. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, happy birthday. What's that? Cuscus. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>